Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Super Saturday here at Crofts. We are in Greetings to everybody and welcome back to day three of Crofts. And this is Scrofts we're bringing you from the main arena, the family crossbreed dog of the year competition. Now, in 2021, Heats attracted dogs from all over the country across six locations. 24 dogs and their owners have made it to the semi-finals of Scrufts, and they're going to compete here in four categories as they come in. Most handsome crossbreed dog, the prettiest crossbreed bitch, good citizen dog scheme, and the golden oldie crossbreed, where we will see dogs aged between 10 and 12 years of age. So one dog from each of those four categories will go through to the final later on today. So it's a chance now to impress in the main arena at Crufts. And the judge will be looking for good character, good health of these dogs, good personality, and a good temperament with people and other dogs. So we've got a wonderful array here in this main arena for proceedings here today. The Family Crossbreed Dog of the Year competition. And all these are wonderful family pets on show here today. Entering the arena to really warm applause. 24 dogs in the arena. And we've got a real mix. We've got Collie German Shepherd Cross. We've got Lurchers. So to guide us through this Scrufts competition of 2022, I will hand you over to our arena commentator as the competition gets underway. The good citizen dog ski. First up, Hazel French with Questa. Tracy Eisen with Scout. Michelle Down with Luna. Katie Lee and Mavis. And Julie Hudson with Bruno. And Rowan with her second dog, Sammy. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So what I love about this competition is we're not looking at breed standards. We are celebrating crossbreeds, which means we're looking for the family dog of the year. It's all about happy, healthy dogs, good temperament, good character, and good health. So let's welcome our judge, ladies and gentlemen, entrepreneur and star of Dragon's Den. Please welcome Jenny Campbell. So a warm welcome to Crufts, Jenny, here on this Super Saturday. And we've got some amazing dogs for you to judge here. Are you a dog lover yourself? Of course not, that's why I'm here. <laughs> no, I've got my dogs here as well. I'm competing tomorrow, and I was in the Breeder Group final yesterday. Wow, okay, so this competition is a little bit different. As I say, we're looking for good temperament. We're looking for happy, healthy dogs. Anything else in particular that might catch your eye? I think the relationship with the owner as well, and also when the little dog is actually showing of itself as well. So I love all dogs, so I'm just, I'm looking for some character. Fantastic, okay. Well, what we're gonna do, if you wanna make your way through the class, first of all, we're gonna ask the handsome dogs to step forward. So we have our five most handsome dogs, if you could step forward, please. Uh, we're going to uh, get you a microphone, and then we're gonna have a, a little chat with uh, each of you, and we're gonna ask you to tell us all about your handsome dogs. Okay, so let's get you a microphone, there we are. Okay. So don't forget, the grand final will be taking place uh, this evening, just after six o'clock, just after 6 p.m. this evening. And uh, we will be inviting back all of our uh, finalists to come back and join us for the final this evening. So first up, this is uh, Alexander and Crecho, uh, our most handsome dog. Could you tell us a little bit about Crecho? Uh, so we have Crecho here. Um, he's a rescue dog. Um, myself and my partner have had him for just over a year. Uh, he came over from Galicia, uh, where he was in a shelter for three years. Um, we were happy to adopt an older dog, and uh, we thought we should give him a chance. And he settled in brilliantly. And in fact, without him, I don't think we probably would have kind of made friends in Reading without him. It's been really welcoming joining the dog community there. And what kind of things does Crecho enjoy? Is it, is it a, a cuddly night on the sofa in front of the telly? Very much so, yeah. If, if we're sitting on the sofa, he's sitting between us and then patting his head between either one of our laps. So 
Fantastic. Very good. Well, he's looking at us as to say, who are these people? What are they looking at me for? Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Alexander and Kretcher, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. OK. Uh, our next handsome dog, this is Claire, and this is Sir Duke. Yes. So already a sir. That's Big quite yes. a title, isn't it? <laughs> Tell us a bit about the very handsome Sir Duke. Um, so Duke was in a kill shelter in Romania, and um, I saw him on a group on Facebook and uh, had him brought over. So, um, yeah, he's a lovely Romanian rescue dog. T tell us a bit more about the bond between you, because I think when you get a rescue dog, in the beginning, it can be so hard to get yeah. them settled in, but down the line, it's so worth it when you see how, how well they've done. Oh, they take, I mean, coming from places like that, they take a good few weeks to settle, um, because they're so shell-shocked. Um, but he is absolutely wonderful. He just loves to lie, and for you to just hold him on the sofa all the time. Um, I think you'd rather do that than anything else. <laughs> Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Claire and Sir Duke. Thank you. Uh, so this is Sarah. Yep. Sarah Lily Jones with Noodle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Noodle's got quite the haircut, I have to say. Yeah. I love the little bit on the top there. Tell us a bit more, if you would, about Noodle. Uh, Noodle is 10 years old. He's done fly ball, agility, uh, the Kennel Club Good Citizen Scheme up to gold and beyond because he just enjoyed it, so we carried on. Uh, and now he comes to work with me at the care home where I work and takes his time walking around each resident, has a little cuddle with each one, and then just goes around again. And, and he, he absolutely loves it. But the, the look on their faces, they love it just as much as he does. I can imagine he very much brightens their day. He really does, yeah, especially over the last couple of years, things have been tough and no visitors allowed in. And obviously, because I work there, he can come in and be a different face and a comfort. Dogs that make a difference, that's what they, we like. Yeah, he does, Thank he you really very does. much. Let's have another round of applause, everybody. Hello, you. So, uh, this is Emily Hale and Ramus. And uh, fantastic lead, by the way, supports sporting there, the bright. Uh, yellow and the bright blue for the very obvious reasons. So, so tell us a bit about Remus, if you will. This is Remus. He's just turned one. He's a golden retriever and poodle crossbreed, so a golden doodle. Um, and he's just, uh, he just wants to play. <laughs> that was him saying, look, just let me off this lead, he's because this like, arena looks so much fun just to run around and of have course. fun. But he's so amazing, to be honest. He's just so perfect. <laughs> Oh, well, he's very, very handsome indeed. Uh, I, I imagine with a, with a dog like this, grooming is very important. Yeah, of course, otherwise he gets covered in mats. <laughs> this is quite short for him. Normally he's got much longer. Well, he's raring to go, I can tell. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give them a big hand. There we are. Thank you very much. Or well, someone who's a bit more calmer here, waiting patiently. Uh, this is Wendy Halling, and this is Frank, Hello. everybody. Look at Frank. <laughs> Looking very handsome This indeed. is Frank. Wendy, would you tell everyone about Frank? Yeah, he's four years old. He's a really, really special rescue dog. Um, he supported me when my husband died very suddenly because I had to carry on for him. So I had to keep taking him out, giving him a brush, you know, doing all those things. And then I had to support him last summer when my other dog died very traumatically at the field. She fractured her elbow. He was completely in shock, shut down. Um, so I had to support him then, but he also goes to, he's a pets as therapy dog, so he goes to two schools to hear readers as part of the read to dog scheme. The children absolutely love him and it's surprising how it brings them out with their reading. They're all children who are struggling or lots with emotional problems. And then we've just started going to a care home and all the old ladies, they just love him. One just puts her arms around his neck and gives him massive kisses and says, he remembers me, doesn't he? It's really sweet. But he's a really, he's a really lovely, gentle, calm dog, perfect ambassador for Scrofs. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much, Wendy. That's and okay. Frank there with his paws crossed. <laughs> yeah. Proper loving the limelight today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our handsome dogs. Fantastic stuff. It's amazing to hear uh, how these dogs are doing such great work as pets as therapy dogs, dogs doing fly ball. So we're now going to ask our prettiest bitches to step forward. Give them a big hand, everyone. Our prettiest bitches. There we are. Uh, we're going to start on this side. So we're going to find out a little bit more about each of these lovely ladies. So there we are. Can I give you that? 
So this is Rowan Carter and Bumble, ladies and gentlemen. And Bumble's thinking, mm, that's a tasty microphone. Uh, tell us a little bit about Bumble, Rowan, if you will. Um, Bumble is, is our um, emergency foster that stayed. <laughs> um, she has gone through two homes already, and they couldn't, couldn't quite cope with her. So we went to pick her up, and she just fit in with our family so perfectly that she had to stay. <laughs> I think that's, that's the thing, isn't it, when you're fostering dogs? And I don't think that's why I could do it, because you don't want to let them go. You'd end up just with a house with, living with 20 dogs, which would be heaven, but not very practical. Uh, what kind of things does Frank enjoy getting up to? Uh, Bumble. Oh, Bumble, <laughs> sorry. Bumble. Um, we've done a little bit of agility, a little bit of obedience, but she's only been with us a year, and we had a few other little issues to, to work through first. Um, but she's, she's loving sort of little tricks and, yeah. It's Amazing. We had Rescue Dog Agility here in the arena yesterday. It was so good. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Bumble. There we go. Very, very good. Thank you. Can I give that to you? There we are. Uh, so this is uh, Ruth White, and this is Nancy. Tell us about Nancy. So Nancy's five years old. She's a Dalmatian cross Cocker Spaniel. Um, she lives at home with us, family pet. We also do um, respite care for children with special needs and disabilities, so she offers sensory needs to them as well. Um, she's a loving dog, uh, extremely loyal. She absolutely loves um, her family members and our respite children, um, and she loves running in the fields as fast as she can with her friends. So she's got bags of energy when she's out in the fields, but they can just be very calm. Yeah, when she's at home, really calm. Pets you know, likes to just lay on her bed, sleep. The children all fluff her. Fantastic, amazing stuff, ladies and Thank gentlemen. You. Let's hear it for Nancy. There we are. Thank you. Hello there. I'll give that to you. Hello. We've got a very waggy tail here. Uh, this is Sally Franklin and Lily. Tell us about Lily. Well, Lily is well. She'll be nine next week, um, and uh, she's very she's very friendly. She's very fast at agility, sadly faster than I am. <laughs> so we get a bit lost, but, uh, but she's, yeah, she's a great companion. And she's loving this arena. She's looking around going, who are all these people? What's oh, going yeah. on? Oh, yeah, she's wondering, she's wondering. Oh, we've got treats as yeah. well. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what it's all about, the treats. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. There we are. And this is Michael, and this is... Um, this is Edith. 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 Hello, Edith. <laughs> Edith's very excited to meet our judge, oh, with yes. a, again, with a very waggy tail. Uh, so tell us a bit about Edith. Um, so Edith is five. I'm sorry, she gets very excited when she meets people. We can tell. We can tell. <laughs> um, she's a mix of a Saluki, a Greyhound, and a Whippet. Um, she is the fastest dog I've ever seen, basically. I can imagine. I think keeping up with her in the park is quite No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's absolutely beautiful. And, and, and tell us what it means for you to be here today in, in the semi-final, potentially in the final of Scrubs. Oh, uh, well, it means everything, really. <laughs> yeah. um, it was such a surprise to, to end up here. We weren't expecting to be here, so we're just going gonna, gonna to enjoy the day. And, that's yeah, what it's all about. Um, well, listen, we look forward to seeing you later on. Hello, you. <laughs> Fantastic. A big round of applause, everyone. There we are. Thank you very much. So, our final prettiest bitch, this is Rachel Hulkin with Wilma. Hello, Wilma. Me. Tell us about Wilma. Uh, Wilma, the Springer Jack Russell cross, eight years old. She's a therapy dog, done a good fit of them bronze, silver, and gold, and just loves life on the sofa. That's what it's all about. I mean, it's a dog's life, isn't it? Tell us about the good citizen. You said you got up to gold. How did you find that? She did gold time she was a year old. Oh, wow. Okay, amazing. So a very, very talented dog we have here. Uh, and a very pretty well. one as well. And a very... Oh, bit of a sneeze. There we go. Uh, let's hear it for Wilma, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And let's hear it for all of our prettiest bitches. Thank you. Okay. We're now going to ask our golden oldies to step forward. Uh, we've got some amazing golden oldies here at Scruffs in our semi-final today. Okay, this is Hayley Hutton and Lily. Hello, Lily. Tell us a bit about Lily, who's very, very happy to see our judge. Lily is a Border Terrier crossed with a Shih Tzu. She's 12 years old. She'll be 13 in April. She's won over 300 rosettes in fun dog shows since she was one years old. Um, she's been by my side ever since she was eight weeks old. We've got an amazing...
Stephen Bond. I love it a bit. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. And, and she's achieved so much. Yeah, she has. It's absolutely amazing. And hoping to add one more rosette yeah, to the so. collection today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's Lily. Thank you very much. Oh, look at you. Hello. Hello. So this is Catherine Masters, and this is Tia. Yeah. Tell us about Tia. This is Tia. She's 12 years old. She's a Husky Cross Alsatian. So, which is, everyone thinks she's a collie. <laughs> so, but we've had her since she was one. We rehomed her when she was one. Um, you know, one of the usual stories, someone was allergic. So, but she's been a fantastic family dog. And, um, you know, all the children are here watching today. So it's, yeah, apart from one. <laughs> so you've got plenty of support, plenty of people cheering you on in this competition. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you the very best of luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Tia. There we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck. There we go. Hello. We're enjoying treats already over here. We've got a lovely bandana on as well. This is Claire Rolls Wayne with Noah. Tell us about Noah. Um, he's a Romanian rescue, and we've had him for five years. Um, uh, he's very, very affectionate <laughs> and makes a great family pet. So. And that's what this competition is all about. It We're is. looking for the family crossbreed dog of the year. Um, what kind of things do you two get up to together at home? Um, just just being a general family pet, walking, um, likes your walkies, don't you? Um, he likes going around the sheep. We have sheep as well, so yeah, <laughs> versatile. And I'm loving the colour coordination with the outfits yeah. and the lead. It all, it all just fits together beautifully. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. There we are. Okay, next up, Emily Galway and Arthur. Oh, tell us about Arthur. I don't think he's too sure of what's going on today. Uh, tell us a bit more, if you would. Um, he's a rescue dog from Romania. Uh, I've had him for four years now, so he came from a kill shelter over there to the UK where we rehomed him. Um, I work in a vet, so he comes to work with me every day and sits behind the desk, which is really sweet. Everybody likes to see him and give him strokes. Um, and yeah, he's just a really lovely boy. He's a qualified pets and therapy dog. So we go, um, before COVID hit, we were going to our local nursing home once a week, where obviously we went to see the old gentlemen and ladies, which he loved, <laughs> all the affection. <laughs> I love the fact that he comes to work with you. Does he have a uniform? Uh, he has dressed up in a scrub top a few times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you can tell, I don't think he was too sure about you at first, but now he's like, yeah. just keep fussing me. He loves just it. Just keep fussing me. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Emily Norway and Arthur. Thank you. Hello. I'll give that to you. There we are. As we continue uh, with our golden oldies, this is Deborah Fisher and Lily. Tell us about Lily. Lily, I rescued her when she was nine months old. And um, she's just a delight. Um, I do obedience with her, agility, flyable, heel watch music. She's been on stage, theatre, TV adverts. She's done everything. Um, and I lost my mum and dad, and she rescued me in the end. So, yeah, she's 10 years old, and she puts any young dog to shame. <laughs> she's a 10-year-old superstar, by yeah, the sound yeah. of who's had she, quite she, the career. She's a bit of a diva. <laughs> I can tell. She's like, are you talking about me? Just give me the treats. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much. That's Thank Deborah you. Fisher and Lily. Thank you. Okay, so moving along the line here, the last of our golden oldies. Uh, this is Louise Jacobs, and this is Teddy, who is a teddy bear and has got some fans in the audience over there. Uh, tell us about Teddy. So this is Teddy. Uh, he's ten and a half, um, and he's a bit excited because he saw the agility, so he's a bit wound up from that. Um, he is, oh, he's just amazing. He's just, my partner knows that there's three of us in our relationship. And uh, if Teddy hasn't got enough room on the bed, then he can go on the floor. Um, but he's just amazing. He's changed my life in so many ways. Um, I changed my job because I wanted to spend more time with him as well. So I'm a dog walker, so he's come out with me. I do dog grooming as well. If I've got a dog on the table that's being a bit naughty, he'll give it a bark and it will all sudden behave. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank that's you. Teddy, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hear it for the whole of our Golden Ollies. Okay, we're now going to ask our Good Citizen Dog Scheme semi-finalist to set forward. So the Good Citizen Dog Scheme, uh, they were actually here in the, the arena yesterday doing a fantastic demonstration. Uh, it really was a great demonstration. 
And uh, they start out with basic obedience, and then they go forward to the more advanced tricks. There's three levels. There's bronze, there's silver, and there's gold. So we're going to begin here with Hazel French and Questa. Questa is very inquisitive. Hello. Could you tell us, uh, Hazel, a little bit about Questa? Questa is an assistance dog, so she helps me every day doing all kinds of tasks, like picking up all the things I drop, um, helping me dress, undress, open closed doors. She does everything. But as well as that, um, just after I had Questa, I broke my back, and so I became more disabled and couldn't play bowls anymore. And that was my social bit gone. And so we went to um, Good Citizens, and Questa soon got through her bronze and silver. She had to work a bit harder at the gold, but she's now achieved all of them. And she also does doggy dancing and rally uh, from, you know, with me in a wheelchair. So I just want to say that all of these Kennel Club activities are accessible for disabled people and the Kennel Club do their best to make them as accessible as possible. So I hope that in the future I'll see more people in wheelchairs at Rally with their dogs and enjoying things and you meet so many wonderful people doing it. Fantastic. I don't think we need to say any more, ladies and gentlemen. Hazel French and Questa, thank you. What an incredible story. Dogs who change lives, that is what this is all about. There we go, hello. So, uh, this is Tracy, Tracy Eisen, and this is Scout. Scout. Tell us a bit about Scout. Um, Scout is um, my, pretty much my whole world. Um, he was found, he was dumped as a puppy um, in a bit of a stace, thought to be blind and deaf. He escaped death by literally a whisker in a stray pound. Um, we were lucky enough to adopt him. Um, and we had two choices with Scout. Scout is completely blind. Um, so we had two choices. We either wrap him up in cotton wool or we let him live a life. Um, Scout is a much loved therapy dog. We, we um, work with dementia care. He's a big advocate for social prescribing. So he's a, an adopted mascot for a local carers community cafe um, where he's attended Christmas parties and he's done <laughs> sitting down yoga. Um, he has an ability to, to know the people that need him the most. Um, I needed this guy more than anything. Um, my first dog was killed by another dog on a walk. Um, I lost all my confidence um, in being outside. Um, this boy gave it back. Amazing. Wow. And very emotional to talk about that incredible story for you, Tracy, as well. So thank you for sharing that with us. You've both clearly been through a lot together. Uh, and again, dogs here changing lives. That's what this is all about. Thank you very much, Tracy. This is uh, Michelle Down and Luna. Luna. Hello, Luna. She's like, oh, is there something more exciting going on over there? Uh, tell us about Luna, Michelle, if you want. Well, Luna just turned five last Sunday. Um, and she's a Red Merle Collie crossed with a German Shepherd with a bit of hunt away in there. We managed to just get our bronze good citizenship just before the lockdown hit. And since then, we've been waiting to do it due to restrictions. It's just opened up back up in January, so we're back on track and Fantastic. enjoying it again. Fantastic. So you're going to be moving on? Yes, most definitely. She's been ready to do all her other ones, but it's at And, and tell us about the bronze. What kind of stuff do you do? Uh, it's just basic obedience, recall, sit and wait, um, off the lead, recall in and socialising with other dogs without interacting and upsetting them and respecting their space. Fantastic stuff. So it really is a really good scheme for people it's to get involved doing. in, from basic obedience right yep. through to the more advanced stuff yep. as well, and obviously open to all types of dogs, crossbreeds as well. That was the only thing. It took me, because we only started when she was three, because originally I thought it was only for the pedigrees, um, but found out it was for the crossbreeds as well, so... Fantastic. Thank you very much. Let's hear it from Luna, ladies and gentlemen. There we are. Hello, you. Oh, you are adorable with your little bow tie. There we are, looking up. Uh, so tell us who we've got here. This is Katie Lee and Mavis. Hello. Tell us all about Mavis. So Mavis is a rescue dog. Um, we've had her four or five years now. Um, we've used the Good Citizen scheme to bring her confidence on. She was very nervous when we got her. Um, no one could really approach her or talk to her without her dropping to the floor. Um, so we've just used the Citizen scheme to bring her confidence on. She's done a bronze and a silver, and the plan is hopefully to, 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 to do a gold. I'm gonna sit down, good girl. 
Fantastic. We saw it in action right there. That, that, that <laughs> command was very much responded to well. It's, it's a big atmosphere for her today. I'm not yeah, sure I was going to say, this is a scary yeah. environment, isn't mm -hmm. it? But no, she's uh, doing so, so well. She definitely is. Fantastic stuff. Well done. Thank you Thank very you. much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Mavis. There we are. Hello there. Uh, so this is uh, Julie Hudson and Bruno. Big Bruno. Tell us about Bruno. Hi, Bruno's eight years old. He's a Sharpe cross German Shepherd. Um, he has his bronze, silver, and gold good citizens. Um, he has actually saved me from some sticky quicksand when we were out on our beach. He came, I yelped, he came trot, running over to me. I grabbed hold of his harness and he literally backed up and pulled me out. It was just so, so sweet and just so instantaneous. But he's such an amazing family dog. He does heel work to music, um, dog agility, and competitive obedience. So, yeah, he's, he's a great all-rounder. And doing the good citizen, you know, mm. it helps improve that bond, doesn't it, between you? Completely. You're spending all that time together. Yeah, I mean, the dogs don't realize how clever they are. They don't realize what they can do, nor do we till they do it. Um, he's, you know, it's the safety aspect as well, the things that you learn, in, especially in the gold test, the emergency stop, you could stop the dog from a distance, um, if for example, it was chasing something or heading for the road, and you train them to do things like that. So it's great social socialization for them, mixing with other dogs, coming to heel off, off lead. It's, you know, they really are, it's a great thing to do, yeah, for everybody. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, Julie Hudson and Bruno. So this is Rowan Carter and this is Sammy. Tell us about Sammy's efforts with the Good Citizen. Um, Sammy's done his bronze, silver, and gold, <laughs> which led us into sort of starting sort of competition obedience so that we could do the YKC. Um, so yeah, that's how we got into, into obedience, which he loves more than any, well, <laughs> he loves people as well. <laughs> and he's showing off, yeah, Sammy's showing off uh, his portfolio of tricks today. Oh yeah, he, he loves tricks. <laughs> he loves them. <laughs> and again, the dogs absolutely love it, don't they? Again, it, building that bond and learning everything from the basic obedience right through to the more advanced stuff. Yeah, it's, fan it's fantastic. And it's like weekly classes, so you know you've got that. And he knows, Monday night, training night. <laughs> and it's been, what, four, four years since we got him. Um, and he was, he was completely untrained when he came to us. He didn't, it was, it was a year old, wasn't toilet trained, not trained at all. Um, and now, yeah, he just, Monday nights, loves them. <laughs> And clearly loves the limelight as well today, performing wonderfully. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rowan Carter and Sammy, let's do it for all of our Good Citizen Dog Scheme Scruffs semi-finalists. Thank you. Okay, so uh, our judge is Jenny uh, Campbell here. So Jenny, uh, if you want to have a, a, a one last walk around and, uh, and have a chat or however you want to do this really, just have a, yeah, w w work along the line and uh, have one last look at our Scruffs semi-finalists. Uh, so, Jenny's then going to make her decision uh, as to who's going to go forward to the final. Uh, what's going to happen this evening, just after 6 p.m., around about 5 past 6, is our Scruff's grand final here in the main arena. And we're going to invite all of our semi-finalists back into the arena where we will announce the finalists and then announce the winner of the Scruff's Family Crossbreed Dog of the Year 2022. Uh, and that's what I love about this competition, the Kennel Club, uh, celebrating crossbreed dogs of all shapes and sizes, of all ages, of all backgrounds. Uh, and it really is a fantastic competition. And if you want to find out more about taking part, if you have a crossbreed dog yourself or you're interested in learning more, uh, head on to the Scruffs website and you'll be able to get all the information. The other good thing about this competition is it helps to raise money for the Kennel Club Charitable Trust as well, uh, which is over the years uh, has raised a lot of money uh, for that organization. So it really is a fantastic competition. And we have the different classes, as we've seen. We have our handsome dogs, we have our prettiest bitch, our golden oldie, and the good citizen dog scheme. And as we've heard today, we always get to learn some incredible stories of how dogs help change lives, whether that's as pets as therapy dogs, or going into schools, reading dogs, support dogs. I think we've had a bit of everything today in this competition. So it's gonna be a very difficult decision, I'm sure, for our judge, Jenny Campbell, herself very much a dog lover, who's gonna be also competing this weekend at Crufts as well. 
a competition proudly supported by our friends at James Well Beloved. Make sure you go and have a look at the James Well Beloved stand as you're working your way through the show this year. Great to be back after an extended break. It's good to see you all here on what is Super Saturday. In the main arena, we have got everything for you today. We have agility, we have fly ball this afternoon, which is always very exciting. Um, we've also got our, coming up at 10.30, our hearing dogs demonstration. So again, dogs who do incredible things to support people through their lives, and we're gonna see that in action at 10.30 today. So our judge is just working away along the line, having one last look at all of our crossbreeds here. Okay, so we're now gonna invite all of our semi-finalists to uh, do a lap of honor around the arena. We're gonna start with Alexander and Crecho, our most handsome dogs, Claire Gallagher and Sir Duke. Give them a big round of applause. Sarah Lily Jones and Noodle. Emily Hale and Remus, and Wendy Halling and Frank. Next up, our prettiest bitches, Rowan Carter with Bumble. Well, there we have the semi finalists, and what a wonderful lineup, and some incredible stories, some emotional stories there as well for our judge Jenny Campbell to consider. And we will wait for the final tonight at 6 p.m. to find out who will be the Scruffs Family Crossbreed Dog of the Year. But those four categories most handsome dog, prettiest crossbreed bitch, a good citizen dog scheme, and golden oldie crossbreed. Really, some wonderful, wonderful stories. And they are all absolutely worthy finalists, but not everybody can go through. And Jenny will be thinking about which dogs she felt had the best character, taking into account good health, their personality, their temperaments with people and their interactions with other dogs as well. There's so many stories there of dogs who have worked in therapy, pet therapy, and of course those who have reached gold standard in the Good Citizen Dog Scheme as well. So those are all the semi-finalists at Scruffs 2022. Wonderful family pets, all of them. Plenty for Jenny to deliberate. in the arena so we will see four of them compete in the final tonight Uh, still to come here in the main arena, in around about 20 minutes' time, we have our hearing dogs at demonstration. Do stay with us for a jam-packed day, a Super Saturday International Day here at Crufts 2022. 